<clears throat> this gal's gonna call us right at the top of the hour. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for listening to Hemp Speak, where we're making broadcast history as the world's first hemp radio show on K High here in Colorado Springs, Colorado, streaming worldwide. Listen anytime live at Let's Talk Pot.com. You can access that website through our website, which is hempspeak.com. I'm Jay, and that's Mike. Hi, Mike. Hello, JR. How are you today? Doing good. Doing what, real good. What a great day. It's raining so hard, though. I don't know if I'm going to go talk about cannabis or cannabis. Cannabis is right. I'm driving to, this, you know, to the studio this afternoon. I was thinking, ever since we've been doing this radio show, Him Speak, we've had maybe one day that I haven't been driving here in the rain. <laughs> it's amazing. It's crazy. We love the water, I think, right? Mm -hmm. but, uh, but anyway, it's great to have you back with me for yet another segment of hemp speak we are the hemp whispers jr and mike the weed whispers we try to sort it out we are narrow casting from this petri dish we call colorado which is the absolute center of some of the hemp universe at least one of the significant centers and we're thrilled to be a part of it we're just talking about how many companies and industries that are being spawned as we speak Business is booming in the hemp industry, and we're trying to get that message out, not just here in Colorado or, the, or around the United States, but around the world. Absolutely. And uh, by the way, this is this segment is going to be brought to you by the Speakeasy Vape Lounge. What's your address, Jerry? 2508 East Bijou here in Colorado Springs. Yesterday, we had uh, Jay and uh, his buddy on uh, talking about what they do at the Speakeasy vape lounge on today's show we're expecting her in studio around colorado springs she's known as granny ganja and uh, our guest uh, also uh, will be melissa from you at the u.s cannabis expo well why don't we just bring up melissa right now i think she's got a lot to tell us about the united states cannabis expo let's see she's there hi melissa good afternoon how are y'all there she is hey holy cow our phones work today we yesterday we had more problems we had some gremlins in the works but today we are on fire where are you calling us from melissa i'm actually calling you from north dakota north dakota now are you on the eastern side of north dakota or on the western side of north dakota no that's silly joke. i'm in the very middle uh, right around canada <laughs> so, okay. so i start you out you're way north aren't you Yep, yeah. way north. Yeah. So they grow some hemp in Canada. How's North Dakota coming in Hempville? Um, they're not really interested here in North Dakota. Got the Definitely oil. in Canada. Yeah, they got the oil fields and all that booming stuff going there, don't they, right now? Right. We have enough tax revenue from oil, so they're, the last thing on their mind is hemp, anything related to it, or they don't need any more money, basically, so... They're good to go for a while. <laughs> well, you're you're actually involved with a expo that's coming up here, I guess, in Colorado Springs in June. It looks like June nineteenth and twentieth at the Colorado Springs Event Center. Why don't you give us a little uh, um, update on what the heck is going on? Okay, so we are putting on a business to business trade <coughs> show 
called the U.S. Cannabis Expo. It's being presented by Herbal Healing. And we drive Durham Magazine. It's June 19th and 20th. It's going to be 10 to 5 on Friday, 10 to 6 on Saturday. And basically, it's, it's an industry show that's going to provide a platform for wholesalers, retailers, packaging companies, support companies, basically entrepreneurs who showcase ideas and learn about the industry of cannabis and industrial hemp. So, when so you say, it's perfect. Go ahead. So when, when you say industry show, does that mean it's not open to the general public? It is open to the general public, but it's not a festival. So okay. it's, it's open. It's a badge event. You have to be over 18 to come in and basically just tell us you want to be in that industry if you're not currently in that industry. So anybody is welcome, but it's not a festival. We don't have, um, you know, it's not a carnival. We don't have <laughs> a lot of rides and fun. It's, it's a business show. No, we understand that. Now, um, how's Colorado Springs going to treat some of these? Do you have a situation like, for example, we just had a reporter of hemp speak on just the other day for reporting from the hemp con, and apparently Las Vegas really wasn't really user-friendly to hemp at all. We've also spoken with Morris Beagle, who recently finished the Northern Colorado uh, Hemp Exposition, and they actually had uh, issues with the Larimer County Sheriff. Um, it, what type of arrangements do you have? I mean, these, at the Northern Colorado Exposition, they were just, uh, that was hemp only, totally. So at the uh, Northern Colorado Hemp Expedition, um, I've heard that it was just because of the sheriff that they didn't have hemp at the show. So here, being that hemp is obviously legal in the area in Colorado, we're not having an issue with hemp. Obviously, there's no THC, no nothing you can smoke, nothing you can eat, et cetera, available for this show. But hemp that's going to be used just in processing, as far as samples go, is going to be allowed at this show. Um, we are working with um, an attorney. Um, we actually have two attorneys speaking at our show. We also have um, Bill Murray from the city council, as well as Jonathan Singer from the uh, Longmont District of the House of Representatives, I believe. Um, and so, so far, so good with hemp at the show. Well, that's exciting. So you'll have various uh, types of hemp and uh, in its different forms, I'm sure, and, and products. Uh, do you have a number of uh, people lined up as vendors already? Yes, we do. We actually have some amazing vendors. We have some vendors coming as far as Georgia and Texas. Um, Canada as well. Um, we have a lot of mostly um, all the nonprofits, I would say, that are involved in hemp and or cannabis industry, CBD oil, etc. Mostly everyone will be represented um, at this show. And then we also have some amazing small businesses, some startups, uh, some dispensaries, that kind of thing. We're talking to Melissa with the U.S. Cannabis Expo. It's coming up June 19th and 20th here in Colorado Springs at the Colorado Springs Event Center. Melissa, is your background in trade shows? Is this? Uh, I got a feeling this isn't your first rodeo. Have you done any like this before? Yes, sir. Um, although not in this cannabis industry. So this is the first uh, cannabis industry. It's actually the first uh, industry show for cannabis on a commercial level that's being held in Southern Colorado. Fantastic. So how many exhibitors are you, or, or attendees or whatever you want to call we'll them? We'll have about a hundred exhibitors and we'll have um, hopefully 2,000 plus people a day. Fantastic. So are you still looking for exhibitors or is it closed off? Or? Yep. We, uh, we still have a couple more spaces for exhibitors. Um, it's filling up pretty quickly. And we also have tickets for sale on our website, which is uscannabisexpo.com, as well as all the information for exhibitor space. Why don't you give a shout out real quick to some of the vendors that are coming? They'd probably appreciate the, just the, the shout out. And uh, yep. go so ahead. It's being sponsored by Herbal Healing, which is a dispensary actually located just a few 
doors down, essentially, from the Colorado Springs Expo Center. And he's also the winner of the Cannabis Cup uh, this year. So he has um, a strain that he entered in the Cannabis Cup and, again, is the winner of that. He's our main sponsor, as well as Weed Reviewer Magazine, which is a new magazine out of Denver. That will be... That is our magazine sponsor. We have some... um, We have hemp, we have some hemp food, we have hemp way foods, we have John Patterson with building tiny houses, building hemp houses. He's going to come out and do a little seminar on how he makes a material out of hemp. Um, We have Grow for Vets representatives, the Rocky Mountain Hemp Association, the American Hemp Association, um, excuse me, (laughs) <laughs> no you're good go ahead okay so we have a few we have a lot of clothing companies um uh the weed pimps obviously one of your uh i guess your six o'clock show there on the k high yeah they're, they're, they're on right after us yeah. um we have um let's see i didn't get that in front of me so i'm trying to just use by memory um, we'll have DJ Chris Diablo being our DJ. Um, about 12, I'd say, clothing companies, about four different hemp foods, some hemp clothing, and well, let's see, some hemp uh, seeds from Canada. We have a company, Pixie Rain, doing some marketing, hemp laments. We had Mark Water. We had Mark Water. She's going to be on the show Thursday um, oh, nice. with yeah, Implements, mm-hmm. and so yes, yeah, she's going to be here in the studio and showing her stuff. Uh, just one second, we got to take a break and do some uh, uh, pay some bills here. But hang with us on the line here. We have uh, sounds good. Yes, thank you. All right. Okay, for all you cannabis business owners and investors. One major need that every cannabis business has in common is the need for real estate from grow to retail. Space is not only a necessity, but it can be the make it or break it component of the business. You hear so much in real estate about location, location, location. It's true in the cannabis business too. USTHC.com provides superior real estate solutions to the Colorado cannabis industry. So whether you're already operating a cannabis business or just interested in the industry, want to find out more, reach out to the pros at USTHC.com. Warehouses, farms, and dispensary locations, part of what they do. They also list and sell existing cannabis businesses, such as dispensaries, and other grow opportunities here in Colorado. For a free, no obligation consultation, contact USTHC.com today. If you're a broker in Colorado or in another state and would like to join the Cannabis Business Referral Network, go ahead and contact them. It's easy, USTHC.com, real estate solutions for the cannabis industry. We're on HempSpeak. Every day, Monday through Friday, 4 to 5 p.m. Colorado time. That's Mountain Time. You can check us out on letstalkpot.com. Listen live at letstalkpot.com. And our website, it's hempspeak.com. Well done, JR. We just now joining us in the in the studio as well as Granny Ganja. And Granny, we have a guest on from the U.S. Cannabis Expo just yet yakking with us. She's talking from North Dakota, which isn't really Hempville, but uh, they'll come along one of these days, don't you think? I do. I Anybody would oh, think sorry. so, but I'm actually getting ready to move to Colorado next month, so it's Oh, you it's are? Okay. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, well, we're happy to have you and happy to welcome you to, uh, to, our, to our state. Thank you very much, and we're very excited to be getting there. So you'll be coming out for the expo and then staying, right? <laughs> pretty, pretty much. I'll be yeah. coming out on uh, June 3rd. Okay. So the expo is June 19th and 20th here in Colorado Springs, Colorado Springs Event Center. Melissa, as organizer and as the person putting all this together, what would you like to see happen at this expo? What kind of result would are you looking for? Well, I would like to see the uh, the building bursting at the seams with um, happy people, a lot of excitement going on. Um, I want to see a lot of people, um, you know, getting 
what they're coming for, which is the seminars, the education, the exhibitors, etc. And I, I'm not sure if I mentioned my uh, scheduled speakers, but we do have a very impressive line of scheduled speakers. So if I can run through that real fast, I'll say. Sure. We have Robin Roberts, who's the president of Pikes Peak National Bank, and she'll be speaking on the challenges of banking. We have Seth Greenberg coming from all the way from Georgia, and he works with a couple nonprofits. One is called Reschedule Me, and he's working on a, well, rescheduling cannabis, basically from the bottom up. Um, Casey Stark, obviously, you guys have him there in the morning sometimes from the Marijuana Business Academy, and his attorney, Charles Hewton. We have Paige Figgy, which is Charlotte's mother from Charlotte's Web, so we're very happy to have her. Ryan Moore from Herbal Healing, talking about growing that winning cannabis extract from the Cannabis Cup. We have Richard Rose, who is an international hemp activist. Uh, we have John Patterson. Of course, we talked about that earlier with Building with Hemp. Jonathan Singer, politician from North Colorado. Zev Pace, he's the um, International Hemp Association president. Jason Love, a very um, important person there in Colorado, speaking about the future of hemp farming and processing. And then we have some panels going on throughout the day with some of the current people I've just mentioned. We have Scott with Rare Dankness coming out to talk about hemp development and the cooperative business model. And we have uh, Bill Murray, who's your local city council, and Eric Solvinson from Koru Healing. So I feel like it's going to be a great lineup of speakers. That's a pretty impressive lineup. And that's just in two days. That's in two days. So what are your times and your hours that you're going to be open and stuff like that? We're going to be open from 10 to 5 on Friday and 10 to 6 on Saturday. Well, it sounds to me like the only two real important speakers they're missing are the Hemp Whispers on JR. <laughs> <laughs> and I can certainly put you in, uh, you know, if it's, uh, yeah. Well, no, just go. give us the media pass. And we'll circulate and have a lot of fun. I'm just having fun with you. But, <laughs> but you are speaking with the, the Hemp Whispers. That's quite silly. We have Granny Gani. Granny, can you say hi? Hello, everyone. Granny's yeah, with hello. us. So it's kind of fun. We've got um, um, with us Melissa from the U.S. Cannabis. Uh, Melissa, say hi to Granny Gonzi. She's one of the uh, – you should really uh, actually chat with her as well because forget the hemp whisperer. She, she actually knows something about it. <laughs> and uh, – <laughs> No, don't I'll ever send you my, my cell phone after the show. And um, how are you today? I'm real good. Thanks. Yeah, it's real good. Yeah. No, she runs a uh, store here in town, by the way, called Rocky Mountain Miracles. So, and uh, oh, okay. so uh, she's just down the street from the Speakeasy Bay Plans and the, and the good part of Car Springs. And we call it the Green Half Mile. I don't know what we call it. Who knows? I like that. That's good. <laughs> That's better. Yeah. They, they got the Green Mile somewhere else. So, you know, yeah. we got the Green, green Quarter half. Mile. Yeah, the green half mile. So anyway, um, oh, real cool. Um, so she's she was real instrumental too in this whole uh, business. We tried to call her about three times yesterday, and our phones were on the blank. So we just said, "Just come on in and let's be the co-host for the rest of the show." And I think she, she said, brought samples too. She brought samples, and that's kind of <laughs> <laughs> so that always helps. So by the way, y'all, anybody listening right now, go to hempspeak.com. If you just simply click on the video button, you see us live. If you happen to miss it, just uh, come back, circle around a little later, and uh, the, the, the show will be there for you. So this will be archived, and we're working feverishly on getting our other shows archived on Hint Speak. Uh, it's coming along, but uh, it's a slow process, Jerry. So, Melissa, the website again to find out more information and to buy tickets. Could you give us that again, that info? The website is uscannabisexpo.com. We also have Facebook. Um, we have U.S. Cannabis Expo Facebook. We have some event pages, and the uh, group page on Facebook is called The Caniverse. Oh. Facebook.com slash The Caniverse. Okay. The is the website the only place to get tickets? Well, actually, at this point, the website and Facebook both have ticket links. On June 2nd, we will have tickets available at the A64 Cannabis Club as well as Herbal Healing. 
That's June second. All right, super. Okay, JR. And you guys have some the weed pimps at six o'clock, or I guess they go on at six o'clock every day. The weed pimps have tickets to give away. Okay, well you got those are there, so you got to make some available for the hemp speaker, the hemp whispers, because <laughs> those weed pimps are our friends, but they they don't share like they should. They won't share. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll send some over. <laughs> okay, way cool. Hey, well, it's great having you on here. The weather, uh, it's 420 weather. Yep, 420 weather. And in Colorado Springs at 420 every day, it's a little bit hazy, a little bit cloudy. It's getting cloudier and cloudier. I see it? some rain. <laughs> no, but even if it's not it. raining, it's always cloudy here at K. Thank you. <laughs> Hempspeak.com, you guys. Thank you, Melissa, with U.S. Campus Expo. We'll bring you back sometime. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have, Have a great day. Take a break. Be right back after this. Fantastic. Everything's working. Thank you for coming in. Yeah. I just. Um, this is my friend JR, J. Ritchie. This is Hello. Allie, nice, nice Allie to meet you. <laughs> and I'm the chief. And what do you want to talk about? Let's just, you know, because you do these sales all the time, kind of. And, so what's your story? Where you want me? What questions you want? What you don't want me to ask? You know, I want to ask about your sex life and nothing like that. Everybody's <laughs> wanting to. Right, you know. Yeah, we, we probably get enough All right, don't right. ask about mine either. <laughs> All right, you know. And you either. Okay, you're fine. That's good. Well, if we get really bored, you know, mm. then we'll figure it out. That's fine. But you brought samples here. Well, these are hemp samples. Okay, cool. So we we'll make sure that we clear that. Oh, well, definitely. Say that we know it's, it's uh, not the other one. It's no THC. It's zero THC. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I actually spoke this morning with a church group of ladies. Would you like to talk about stuff like I that? I don't know sure. if they want to talk about you it or not, to but have to I won't mention the church at all. <coughs> I don't know <coughs> any names, but yeah, I would just... love they had many questions. Excellent. It was great to talk to them. Yeah, I spent about, that's stuff we like to. Yeah. I spent about two and a half hours with them, and I just want to encourage anybody else that wants to learn more to just give me a call. Hey, we got to get rid of our callers right now. Oh. Yep, yeah, she's gone. Right. Now we can try it. Maybe somebody want to call in, Granny Donju. Maybe we can yeah. get some speakeasy vape tickets. Yeah. <laughs> Never know. <laughs> <coughs> he tried. He tried yesterday. He could do anything. So check, 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 check. All right, my, my. Check, check, check. Back in sixty. Thank you. Okay, so sonar a shout out today. What's that? Give sonar a shout out. Oh, absolutely. Give <laughs> right, right now if you want to. Yeah. yeah <coughs> I'll come back. I'll hit this. Let's say uh, this is blown by Blown Smoke Shop. This Blown Smoke Shop? Okay. Yeah. They're at 424 West Fillmore. Well, that sounds like a decent cannabis expo there. Yeah, it sounds like. Sounds like well, we might have to get over there. Can't speak that we talk about CDs. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. We're not going to Listen anywhere at letstalkpot.com. Mike's live. That's right, it's real easy. You can listen live at letstalkpot.com anytime, anyplace, anywhere. And also, our website is hempspeak.com. Dot com because our show is Hempspeak, and at Hempspeak.com, it won't be long. We'll be archiving our shows, so if you miss some shows or if you've got a show that you really liked, one of your particular favorites, you want to go back and listen to it again, you'll be able to soon to do that at Hempspeak.com. We thank you for listening to Hempspeak. I'm JR along with Mike, our guest in studio, Granny Ganja. We'll get to her in just a moment, but we are as I said at the top of the show, making broadcast history as the world's first hemp radio show here on K-High in Colorado Springs, streaming worldwide at letstalkpot.com. Our audience is your customers. Our audience is extremely interested in your message. There aren't too many ways to get your message out 
this is one of them. If you're interested in getting your message to our listeners, we'll do that for you. We have numerous sponsorship packages available. So join us, put your ad here, and help us make some broadcast history. Contact us at info at hempspeak.com. That's info at hempspeak.com. Also, I forgot, I want to give a shout out to Sonar, who's at the controls, the master control, running things, uh, running the show today. In the Windy City. Yeah. We are truly worldwide. Yeah. Technology is an amazing thing when it works. When it works. Yes. 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 Okay. I'm coming here, by the way. Uh, tomorrow we've got uh, Ryan Barrigo. He's a uh, uh, entrepreneur in this industry has money uh, actually two or three or four in businesses the that he runs and we'll sure get an update and uh, it's always nice to get the perspective of these people that uh, are actively engaged in this petri dish we call colorado which is spawning thousands and thousands of not jobs but companies mm -hmm. so it's pretty just amazing what we're in the heart of uh, Thursday, we've got Margarita Water. She has hemp limits again. Coming back. Coming back. And now she's going to be in studio with all kinds of hemp samples and stuff. So that's going to be just a heck load of fun. And then Friday, I don't even want to tell you, but it's, we have such a special guest that uh, a couple of people in studio uh, from a musical venue. So we're going to be, uh, it's kind of like a fun Friday, but it's going to be very entertaining. But that's just going to have to stay a surprise for now. Okay. JR. Be, be easy like a Friday morning, something like that. There, <laughs> you know, you know, don't don't be, don't be to build no brick house or anything <laughs> like that. Okay, There's, okay. Anyway, let's bring up Miss Granny Gonzi. Miss Granny Gonzi, how are you today? I'm doing great. Thank We're you. so happy to have you in the studio now. Now she's got some samples here. We're going to hold some stuff up in front of this little camera. There's our camera. And they, these are you. these are hemp samples. There's no THC. There's zero, no, zero. zero. So what good are they? <laughs> no, that's a bad joke. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to tell you the benefits. Okay, so oh, good. Some of these that's things. why we got you here. This yeah. is, yes, thank you so much. So, uh, all right, Granny Ganji, go ahead. Let's talk about, you want to talk about CBDs first? Or benefits I do. I want to talk about CBDs now. First, right, go ahead, caller. You're first, my. Uh, right, what do we got here? What are this? What is oh, this? Okay. This is just a pain relief salve. This is a pain relief salve. Mm -hmm. So if you've got anything that hurts, you can put a little bit on. Hmm. Or you got a bathtub of this stuff. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, they do come in pretty good sizes. Okay, so okay. I don't know right. about the bathtub. Yeah, but, yeah. Sign me up for the 50 gallon barrel. Size, 50 gallon right? barrel. All right. All right. Well, my specialty is marijuana, but today I want to talk about um, CBDs, which is the hemp plant. Very good. There is CBDs in the marijuana also, but they're not as high usually. However, uh, many strains are coming out now that have a higher CBD count. So that's wonderful because we need both for severe. Um, so are they just getting better in, in growing these and in, in uh, well, getting I, the extract think, or what? I think they've been out there for a while, but we didn't realize the benefit of the combination of the two. Um, more research has been done now, so they're seeing that the, the benefits of the two working together are like a powerhouse compared to THC alone or CBD it's alone. So some of the benefits from CBDs alone is it's an anesthetic, so it's a pain reliever. Anti-inflammatory, it reduces inflammation, relieves anxiety, fights free radicals in your bloodstream, uh, assists with depression. It's a sleep aid. It relieves spasms, suppresses epileptic fits. Uh, it's effective against bacteria, reduces diabetic symptoms. It reduces nausea, relieves psoriasis. It's a digestive aid. It helps with bone growth. Um, it helps with rheumatoid, rheumatoid arthritis and lupus. Um, inhibits tumor cell growth. It reduces the risk of artery blockage, relaxes veins for better blood flow, it minimizes organ rejection. So the benefits from this plant are incredible. Absolutely incredible. Now, let me ask you this. You've owned a, a, a medical marijuana dispensary now in, in Colorado Springs for five years or something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, CBDs weren't at the threshold at that point. And 
it kind of came around maybe two, three years later or something. I, I, I'm not sure when, but but we're at the forefront of this of this development pretty much. Well, basically, we're we're, we're learning more about what the rest of the world already knows. <laughs> you know, um, China has always used cannabis as a medicine. Um, of course, Israel is way ahead of us in research. Um, we don't have research, so to speak, yet. You know, I mean, we're getting there. We're doing more. Um, there's funds now allocated for research and things like that. But we we didn't know um, how good the CBDs were. You know, you got your um, cannabis. You have your hemp on one hand and your marijuana on the other. Well, hemp stayed pretty much in the original form, and um, it has great benefits. I, I truly believe myself, had we not eliminated hemp in this country, we wouldn't have had 80 years of cancer to the extent that we've had it. I mean, I, I believe it would be around, but I don't believe we would have had so many deaths from cancer and so on. Um, just because if, it, if it's in our system all the time, or if we use it, we eat the hemp hearts, or, you know, just we use it as a medicine or whatever, I don't believe we would have such a, uh, I don't even know, cancer has just been such an explosion over the last 80 years, to me. Um, well, so many of these diseases that you mentioned, just right here on this, I, I mean, mm -hmm. it's every it's it, every commercial you see on TV is something to combat this, and it certainly doesn't mention something you can grow in your backyard, possibly. No, and that's it's pretty just, interesting. It's just an incredible plant, but I think um, the the marijuana, of course, was bred more as a uh, like a high society after dinner smoke where it has the THC effect or the psychoactive effect and so up up until probably the early 1900s well even pre-1937 we had all kind of medicines made from the hemp plant or from marijuana and or cannabis of the say cannabis and um and it was, uh, you were considered high class if you had that after dinner smoke, even here in the U.S. So um, just because hemp was such a threat to other entities, such as oil. Oil, fuel, fiber, plastic, it right. just, since yeah. it provides so many, you know, every guest we have on this show just consistently goes back to, to, to 1937 and what really went on. And there's a lot of shenanigans, quite mm -hmm. frankly. And the American people were blindsided and they don't pay attention to this stuff. And they really didn't even know what was occurring. But while some, as we always say on our program, what some might allude to be a conspiracy theory, we are only talking about historical fact right so um mr ford yeah mr ford the, was a great the first, example. first car with him right the detroit the, the detroit free press actually said all it really needed was a dollop of of uh something on the top to make it totally uh, a, a dessert it was just because the entire thing was edible essentially right <laughs> uh, it's it, it just blows you away the technology back then and somehow we're surprised today that uh that, you know, we think we know it all, mm -hmm. you know, history is pretty funny. Anyway, our guest is Granny Ganja. I want to give out our, our studio line, by the way, in case anybody wants to call in and ask a question. We have an open line right now. It is 719-591-5874, 719-591-5874. You can also uh, go to hempspeak.com at any point. You can send an email to info at hempspeak. You can send one to studio at Hemp Speak if you just want to ask a question to Granny Ganja. Um, all kinds of ways we're trying to reach out here, people. I got a question. Uh, tell us about your dispensary here in Colorado Springs. Well, I was a caregiver 
prior to having a dispensary. And um, my son uh, had a stage four bladder cancer. And so we kind of just made a decision, either we're gonna go full force so that we could help a lot of people um, or, or stay kind of in the, you know, the out of sight. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I really wanted to help people. So in at our dispensary, we just like to treat people like family. And uh, I have so many patients with severe problems and uh, you wouldn't know what's seeing them on the street, but. Yeah. And you were one of the first dispensaries. How has business changed from you starting up a few years back to now? Well, it's been, um, it was good for a couple of years. It, was it good from the start? It was, well. Or was it a little slow? When <laughs> people were, maybe people, even though it was medical marijuana was legal, people were still reluctant to, to yeah, do it? Yeah, it started off slow. Yeah. The first year was kind of slow. Our second year, we started doing great. And then um, we had a raid. And was it a federal raid? No, it was a uh, city and state. And they thought that I had too many plants and not enough patients. Hmm. But it was a very costly ordeal for a brand new company. And we did survive it. And nine months later, after the raid, I went to trial, two felony charges. And um, I won because I could prove I had the patience and uh, wasn't growing too many plants, but still it was devastating for a brand new company. So our third year, we did well, but by the time the fourth year rolled around, then recreation opened and, or maybe it was closer to the fifth year, but still. Uh, so that's, that's been really tough uh, after recreation opened. Now people are just uh, trying to find the best deals and trying to find a home. And <laughs> so has that, that changed a little bit how you're approaching things now? You Are you trying some different things, trying some new things? We are. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, so I believe that we'll be uh, probably getting into a larger grow and um, Probably a recreation shop Do uh, somewhere. A little both then, little medical, little right. recreation. Uh, other, other than someone, the medical with the cards only reached ten percent of the people who actually voted. The number of the people who voted to have it uh, legal, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. since we were only reaching such a small amount, I I believe recreation is a good thing. I believe that a lot more people can uh, medicate without fearing for their job or, you know, I mean, people still have to do that, but they're not bound to a state ID card or medical card. So I think that's uh, really good to have recreation. Well, there's just purpose. so much pressure uh, to get the medical side completely eliminated. And it's just so wrong. The whole thinking process is wrong. I mean, uh, somebody in a wheelchair needs to pay more taxes, right? And this whole nonsense that, uh, uh, in fact, Governor Hickenlooper apparently just signed a, a, a bill having to put more pressure on doctors that are willing. Whatever happened to JR, if you're my doc, I go see you. You say, Mike, this might help. I'm going to recommend it. Uh, when did when did some bureaucrats be able to just get in the way of really? It, we're talking about licensed AMA doctors here. These these aren't just some guy like in a garage. Oh, I just popped up my door and hung up. I'm now an MD, right? Uh, no, this is actual real doctors. And to put this kind of pressure, it, 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 it's it's very amazing what is going on out there and but she's exactly right they're just trying to eliminate this and of course what does that do it just pushes more to the green market they call it the black market it's the green market and it just pushes more and more to the to the streets as opposed so as usual they're intended uh, 
consequences are, are far from uh, what what the result would be. So anyway, okay, we've got just a few seconds here. JR, talk to me. Our guest is Granny Ganja. She brought us some samples. We'll talk about those a little more as we come back for our final segment of the show. Where is your dispensary? 2316 East Bijou Street. 2316, just up from the uh, Speakeasy Vape Shop. And that's 80909 for all you people around the world Googling. I mean, come on out here. There's plenty of marijuana cannabis people and tours and such. And and somehow we'll get you introduced to Granny Gaju, who's uh, <laughs> truly a, Number one a, on the list. a heroin of marijuana. Thank you so much. Definitely. We're going to take a break and come back. It's uh, Hemp Speak at Let's Talk Pot.com, originating in the Petri Dish, Colorado, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Coming right back. HempSpeak.com. That's yeah, real fun. Thank you. Can we, we can't open these. Can okay. I open one of them? Yeah. Are they all the same? Oh, okay. Well, just open one. Okay. You're just a hemp sack. It, that was yours. Oh, that, God. Was that was mine. Fantastic. Yeah. Um, smell them. Mm -hmm. They have a little bit of the. No, it's not good. Camp or something. Yeah, they got a little camp. Like yeah, you know. camp. You've got, yep, they're good for whatever, yeah, whatever, whatever right. ails you. Not right too bad, right? Uh, this lady this morning at the church group that I spoke Oh, yeah, let's, 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 when we come back, let's talk about it. Say that. You say you need She literally rubbed it on her. She had a broken arm. And she's probably about 90. She had a broken wrist, I'm sorry. And the wrist is healed, but it still has a, a little pain in it. And so she rubbed that on her while we were sitting there in our meeting. And she said, I want to tell you, I put that on my arm. And I have no pain. And during the meeting. During the meeting. What did the girls say about that? They were all just it's very a happy. Yeah. You gotta be saying it's a miracle yeah. if you're in church. You know, and and uh, it's great stuff. And yeah, she's probably got a medicine cabinet full of prescriptions. Oh, well, I'm sure. The average age at this this group of women, I believe, would have been probably about seventy. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice if they're interested in learning. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Well, thank you for doing this on such short notice. Yeah. We had a guy from the CBDRX, Tim, but he said, I'm sick of the doctor. That's what happened to me in my second day. I was supposed to do the show. I called Casey. He said, Will you please just go down and talk about the trial or something? And so he said, Sure. I well, never have even been to see him. I haven't even talked to him since he. Did that show, so I it's a good show. I've heard, I've heard the show. Yeah. Which one? Uh, I've got a can of business. Uh, I went to see it as Granny Gods on Saturdays. And, he and, talked about the trial. Yeah. They replayed that the other day. Yeah, they did. Oh, I want to get a copy of it. I've asked the outlook for a copy of it. Oh, Give me your address again. 2316 East Bijou. Come on, Springs, 80909. Four seven three weed. Four seven three weed. Four yeah. seven three weed. Seven one nine four seven okay. three weed. That's a good one. <laughs> Jim needs to go out to look at the signs saying it's still can't believe it. <laughs> Such as cannabis and corn stalks, hemp grown from biomass can be converted into methane, methanol, and gasoline at a fraction of the current cost of oil, coal, or nuclear energy. Always telling it like it is. This is hemp speak. Set it and forget it. Then remember around 10. <laughs> then think about unsetting it. Then decide to go back to sleep instead. Okay, hi. The Weed Talk Station. My butt. We are back. JR. Making history. Making history. This is incredible. We are narrow casting from the epicenter of the Petri dish. We call it the Petri dish because so many things are being spawned because of the Amendment 64 right here in the beautiful state of Colorado. All of a sudden, the voters said, we're putting a stop to it. Ironically, the very first marijuana arrest in the United States occurred in Denver, Colorado in 1937. And when people say that this is an experiment, the truth of the matter is we're ending the experiment. 
the experiment is now over and now we're going back to hemp where, where, where we should have been all along we're tired of everybody saying this just doesn't work with us in the studio today by the way this segment's blowing smoke shop 424 east fillmore stop in tell them the boys and and granny gods and hemp speak sent you down there to Bone Smoke Shop to just introduce yourself, the excellent selection of what you need for today's hampies. And while you're heading that way, 2316 East Bijou, Granny Ganja's dispensary. Her phone number, by the way, we, we give you a lot of phone numbers on this show. Here's an easy one to remember. 719 is the area code here in Colorado, Colorado Springs. 719-473-WEED. There you go. Love it. Nine. Three, three, three. Mm-hmm. Very cool. <laughs> Four, seven, three weeks. Okay. With us is uh, Granny Ganja. She has a show, too, on Saturdays on uh, K-High Radio. And so she, we're just honored to have her in the studio taking time. She's a busy woman. She's got a lot going on. I know she's got uh, so much going on. And she's not releasing any details yet, but uh, she's been a uh, told me a couple of things that they got up their sleeve and quite frankly, it's really cool. Yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing what else, how it all transpires. Well, she's trying to get the message out as we all are here uh, at, uh, at K high and at let's talk pot.com. And one of the ways she does that locally, she gets out and about and talks to some folks in Colorado Springs who you might not expect want to hear much about marijuana or cannabis or hemp. And this morning, she was talking to a church group. Tell us about that. Mm-hmm. Well, it was a ladies group, and uh, they invited me to come and talk about it. Uh, they want to learn more about it. Uh, they want to learn more about marijuana. They want to learn more about hemp and what its benefits are. And so they invited me to come and talk. We had a wonderful uh, discussion this morning. I did tell them about the benefits of CBDs and also THC. And while we were there, I took some uh, samples of just the CBD salve. Um, Which is what we have right here. Uh-huh. And um, one of the women had broke her arm. She's probably about 89-ish, maybe not. But uh, she had broken her wrist. And so while we were sitting there in our meeting, she rubbed some of this on her wrist because it was hurting her. And she uh, said to me, I want to let you know I put some of that stuff on my wrist. And she said, I have no pain. So that's a... Uh, oh. Did you feel a little bit like the old-fashioned medicine show? Only those were fake. This is real. Yeah, uh, it was real. And uh, she, was, uh, she was very happy. They all clapped for her. Um, and then they all started picking up their sap and smell it. <laughs> Mike put some on his lips, and I noticed he's talking better. I can't feel my lips anymore, <laughs> Jr. I don't know. I, look, 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 look like the Kardashians or something. Like no, never mind. Anyway, no, it actually, uh, it, much like uh, uh, any sort of a lip balm, uh, <laughs> although, and, and of course, I, I've been in hemp for some time. Obviously, you wouldn't have a show called Hemp Speak if mm-hmm. if you didn't kind of like it and want to talk about it a little That's bit. Right. But uh, uh, it's just amazing. So, I mean, companies like Mary Hempsters have been around for years with little lip balms and things that mm-hmm. you can buy at the mm-hmm. stores. And, uh, of course, uh, the mainstream acceptance of hemp, despite the pressure from the powers that be, uh, you can buy hemp seeds at Costco. You can get hemp oils at Costco. It's it's out there, and, and, it, it, and it's it, hard it, to put it back in the, the toothpaste back in the bottle. Right. Well, hemp is sold in all our drugstores. It's sold at Walmart, and I'm talking about hemp products, shampoos, lotions, lip balms. Many, many products have hemp in them, So, and they, they've carried them for years. We just can't have American hemp in them. Yeah. It's all imported hemp, and yeah. we hear from all of our guests, uh, Ed Billings and Morris Beagle and the like, uh, that, my gosh, we just it's illegal to have hemp in Colorado, essentially, right? Yeah. What did we spend last year, like $150 million to buy it from China? At least, something well, like that. we could that. grow right here in our backyard. Uh, it actually grows wild 
in some in some states. <laughs> and all that, of course, those states is that's from the hep for victory back when you could actually get deferment from the World War II right. because we were had no silk supply in World War II, mm -hmm. and the Defense Department actually gave farmers the seed. And they have, there's a movie, if you doubt any of what I say, Hemp for Victory, just Google Hemp for Victory and watch the 12 minute Department of Defense video uh, 1942. And as soon as we won the war, it went back to, oh no, this is horrible, it makes people nuts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty funny story, but uh, again, yes, historical well, fact. Well, I think eventually we'll all be able to uh, enjoy hemp products again on a greater scale perhaps even juice, juicing from hemp or, uh, or from the hemp seed. Well, there's a lady that does the YouTube video of juicing raw cannabis. Mm -hmm. And she's a young lady and she was diagnosed with some terrifying disease. And uh, I mean, literally within a few months, that everything's gone. And she would juice raw cannabis leaves. She didn't smoke it. She didn't do anything. Just ate it mm -hmm. and uh, drank it and these are the kind of stories. That's a YouTube video, and through the beauty of the Indian, that of course you can find this stuff, and mm -hmm. uh, I don't have to wait for uh, Bill O'Reilly's position on it, yep. right? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, it's just so beneficial. Whether you juice it, you smoke it, you, whatever you do with it, uh, it has benefits. Well, I'm interested more now at, at back to this church group or the ladies group, uh -huh. and it, obviously elderly women. Maybe you were saying. Well, it, were you getting any negatives, or did anybody say this is horrible, or did was there everybody kind of just really? We find most people, uh, unless you're totally invested in the industry against against it for some reason, you're that's what's paying your kids' college and stuff like this. And if it changes, you've got problems. Okay, those people I can understand where they're coming from, even though it's morally just lost. Um, uh, most people just want to learn a little bit more about it. Right. About it. Um, the women all knew what the subject was going to be for today. Um, there were four that didn't show up out of about, well, they expected 30. Um, so I don't know the reasons why they didn't show up. Well, it's my, rainy. My, it's, yeah. You know, they could, could have been at Bass Pro Shops day. getting a boat lined yeah. up, right? <laughs> Could have been. So anyway, uh, I did not have any negatives. Good. And um, they were all very, um, they asked a lot of questions and they told me thank you. I, I just want to tell everyone out there, if you've got a group that you teach or that you meet with and you want to learn more about it, I'd be happy to come and talk with you and just spend 30 minutes or an hour with you and uh, pass out some literature. Uh, even um, some of the Colorado government sites will give you general uh, information on the medical benefits. So um, the word is getting out. It's yeah. going to be slow. You can help people in Colorado residents, certainly. If they would, if they have some sort of a medical condition and they they would like to see if they couldn't get a doctor's recommendation to see if any of this would help. And of course, you don't need a doctor's recommendation for this. They can, but but you're right. good. You, the whole idea is to go to somebody like you that has a a medical dispensary. The reason you got into it was the right reasons. It wasn't for making money. It was to help well, people. I married the criminal though. See. Well, but that's, you know. That it, helped me get there. Well, that helps you. <laughs> you know, it always, we all need somebody to, you know, I don't know what, what starts everything. But, uh, yeah. but, no, but nonetheless, you can help people out there uh, possibly line up a, a medical uh, evaluation. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yes, I can help with getting a doctor. Um, it doesn't really cost much. The state charges $15. Some doctor's evaluations are as low as 55. So um, it's easy to get your evalu evaluation. In. But if someone wants to come by my shop, I can sign them up with a visitor pass and we can talk and they can just look around. Uh, they're at the shop and they can't purchase without the card, but they're welcome to 
come in and talk to me. And like I said, I'd be happy to go out and talk to different groups or whatever. I'm available. Okay. I'm it's available. just that easy. And it's all legal. Don't forget. 2316 East Bijou. Stop on by or they can give you a call too. Your number is 719-473-WEED. That's Granny Ganja, our guest in studio today. And I might say that we have um, several grannies at the shop. <laughs> and even the young kids like coming in there because the women are so knowledgeable. It's not a generational thing at all. It is not. Yeah. Mm -mm. No, it's a great, great dispense. And we're honored to have you with us, uh, Miss Allie. Thank you, Granny Ganja, thank you. for being here. Uh, seven one nine four seven three weed season. I can remember that, and that's pretty <laughs> exciting right there. I now learned something today. Are yep. so that's what uh, it's all about. That's pretty cool. So anyway, no upcoming shows uh, tomorrow. We've got Ryan Grego. He's a uh, uh, can of entrepreneur in many uh, facets, and it'll be really interesting to see what he's got to say about the industry in general. Thursday, Margarita Waters coming by, and she's going to have a bunch of hemp products that she sells out of her Hemplements mobile. And she was here last week or on the phone and we're thrilled to have her. And then Friday, we got a special guest. So cool. I'm not even going to tell you. Jay. All right. All right. And so. our thanks to Melissa from the U S cannabis expo who joined us in the first part of the show, U S cannabis expo.com, the website there for more information and to buy tickets June 19th and 20th here in Colorado Springs. And that's going to do it. We're done. Thanks to our sponsors, Blown Smoke Shop, USTHC.com. Thank you. Have See a great day. Thank you very much. Oh, can I, can and I we're have... clear. Thank you. Thank you, Sonar. Nice job. Thanks, Sonar. No problem. You guys did all the hard work. <laughs> well, it's, 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 it's fun. It's fun. Thank it really you. Is. See you later. Talk to you later.